Hello! In this video, we're going to have a look at how to solve the current issue. Um, the issue is we have a test, kind of simple test um, in the Lambda test playground. Uh, we just want to enter some data and then check that the data that we entered was correct or to check a message. And this is also like the structure that you have in a test. So you have step one, step two, and then you have an expected result. Now, if I have a look at the test, I have everything here as comments. And that is good, but I would also like to have a way uh, to see um, my steps and to have some structure also when I'm running my Cypress test. So I'm running the test right now. And yeah, this is a small test, so there's not a lot of things happening here, but you see, it's kind of a mess. I mean, I don't really know, okay, um, which part was the entering part? Which part was my asserts? Okay, the asserts are green, you can see them, but I still don't, I mean, I want to have more structure here. And how can I solve this? in a nice way. How can I make this part of my tests be more user friendly, be easier for me to see what's going on and to have more structure. So one way of trying to do this is doing like ci.log. So <clears throat> I can just say here login. And if I do again here, ci.log and I say uh, entering data one. Now let's run this test again and see if it th if things get any better. Okay, yeah, they're better. I have a log and I have another log, I hope. Pom, pom, pom. Yeah, one and two. Now it's good, but it's not the best solution. It's, and it's not the most elegant solution. And while I can still play around with the log, uh, I have a separate video on that where I show you how you, you can play around with the uh, ci.log command to do some really nice things. I'll post the link in the description. I want to be, to be better. I want to make this better. I want to make it in a way that it pops out. And the reason, or sorry, not the reason, the, the, the way to do this, the way I choose to do this is by using a plugin from Philip Rick. I don't know if you know Philip. If you're doing Cypress, you should know Philip. He's a Cypress ambassador. He has a lot of cool videos, a cool blog, but enough about him. Let's have a look at the actual extension and how we can use it. So here we have the extension is called Cypress Steps Plugin. And let's do the steps first to try and install it. So let me just open here the terminal and then I just install it. That is done. Now, once we install it, like it says here, we can just do the import in our support file. So we do support and to E and we can put it in and do the imports. And we have this there, and we're ready to actually use it. Now, let's see. Instead of using ci.log, I can try to do something like ci.step. Okay, so this should be right um, straightforward ci step. Okay, and step again. Um, and let's just do another to see how good it looks. Oops. Um, check data one. And now if I run this and if I done everything correctly, I should have a really nice view. Whoa. I mean, this looks nice. You see, you have the login, entering the data. So I have basically my test steps in a really nice visual way in Cypress. Now, besides this CI, dot step command there's also another command called ci dot section so let's try to, to do something like ci 
or actually I'll, I will leave this one there and I'll put my CI dot section here and say something like um, second type of check because in the first one I'm doing an input and checking uh, the message in the second one doing two inputs and checking the message now let's do second type of check and why not do first type uh, I know how to write first type of check and let's run the test whoa doesn't this look better we have the first type of check yeah the first one and we know here we have the second one so this is a really nice way how you can structure your tests and if you want to have a closer look if you want to learn more i'll put the link into the description as it states here the steps that we define here so doing using the ci section and ci step are also visible if you do uh, if you run cypress via uh, continuous integration yeah so um, we're running it now in visual mode uh, and it's present there but it's also present if you do mpx cypress run and there you have it this was how we can make our test step stand out make it more visual and as always thank you for watching the video like subscribe and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye